Good morning. This is your morning sip. Whatever you're having this morning, whether it's coffee, tea, pineapple juice, apple, apple juice, orange juice, grapefruit juice, whatever you're having, have it with Jesus Christ. Today, I'm having some pure coconut water. Today, you'll find me coming to you from the book of Proverbs. I love the book of Proverbs because it's a book of wisdom. It helps you. It guides you. It directs you. It, 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 and, and for young, especially young children coming up, I remember my mom always took us to the book of Proverbs. She always encourages and admonished us to read the book of Proverbs. And I would like to come to you from Proverbs 17 and also Proverbs 18. And I'll be reading verse 2 in both of those because I want to expand a little bit on something coming from the book of Proverbs. But reading from 17 and verse 2, it says, A wise servant will rule over a son who causes shame and will share an inheritance among the brethren, the brothers. Then going over into um, Proverbs 18 and reading verse 2 again, it says, A fool has no delight in understanding, but is ex but in expressing his own heart. Let me say this to you, and it goes by it goes back to a saying, children obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. We see a lot of times where even in our homes, our children want to have their own way. And the Bible says, foolishness abides in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction drives it out. Yes, we don't believe in abuse. We don't believe in, in doing those type of things. But there is consequences for our actions. And when a son brings shame on his family or, or any one of the children brings shame, and, and, and you have a wise servant who knows how to to, to bring peace, who knows how to govern, obviously he will share in the inheritance over that child who brings shame and plays the part of a fool. And then it goes over here and say, a fool has no delight in understanding. The worst thing in the world to do is to argue with a fool. You don't want to get into any kind of quarrelization with any fools, but in expressing his own heart. So when a fool has something in his heart, in his mind, he wants to express that regardless of what anybody thinks and how anyone feels. A wise person knows how to be silent, knows how to stay still, and knows how to allow the Holy Spirit to work and to guide them. Today, I don't know what, what you may be going through. I don't know what you might be experiencing. But if you go to the book of Proverbs and you allow God to guide you in the book of Proverbs. I'm sure that you will have a lot of wisdom. You will have a lot of understanding of how to govern your home, how to govern your community, how to lead, how to be a good leader, and even how to follow, because sometimes we need to know how to follow in order to be able to lead someday. I pray that God will strengthen you today, that he will give you that peace that surpasses all understanding, and he will help you not to get into an argument with a fool today but that you will focus in on the truth. And sometimes it's best to leave things alone, especially when you know you're dealing with someone who is void of understanding or void of wisdom. You allow it, leave it alone and allow God to guide you. Let us bow our heads in a word of prayer. Gracious and eternal Father God, as we come before you this morning, Father, we ask that you will just give us the wisdom, the knowledge and the understanding how to make right choices, oh God. How not to do anything just to show ourselves off or to prove that we are knowledgeable and to appear as a fool in the eyes of man. Father God, if we had sinned against thee in word, thought or deed and our actions, oh God, towards our fellow brother or sister. Father, we ask your forgiveness today. And Father, we just ask that your Holy Spirit will continue to guide us and to direct us. And Father God, that we will dwell in peace and in harmony in your presence. In the name of Jesus the Christ, amen. Today, if you like this um, this message, you could go out and share it in your WhatsApp groups, share it with your family groups, share it in your church groups. I have friends that are sharing it all over. They're telling me how much their families are responding. What I would like for you to do also, you could tell your family and friends that they could subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is called Uncle Irv's Morning Sip, which is URV apostrophe S. God bless you. Go out and share love today. And remember, whatever you do, please do it with Jesus Christ. For this is your morning sip. God bless you. Have a beautiful day.